So which is more economical, investing in a fairly expensive off-grid solar system or running your cabin with a gas-powered generator? We recently put out a video where we upgraded our off-grid solar system to lithium iron phosphate batteries. Our solar system consists of 10 panels, 8 lithium iron phosphate batteries, one 2000 watt inverter charger, and two charge controllers, a battery monitoring system, and all of the cables and accessories that go along with that. I will link to all of the main components in our off-grid solar system down below so that you can check prices and all of that. But rough estimate, about $13,000 worth of equipment. We got an excellent question in the comments below that we want to talk about today. Glenn writes, I love the concept of solar power, but do the dollars make sense? Right? That's a great question. Do the dollars make sense? For the money, a person would have to invest to buy and install a system like yours. Link down in the description to the video of us upgrading our solar system and a tour of the solar system before we upgraded it. Okay, I'll put that down in the description. So the amount of money that it would take to invest in a system like yours, you could buy a couple generators and gasoline to last years, dot, 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 to produce the same amount of watts. Or am I missing something? Glenn, that is such a great question, and I love the way that you asked it. Let's think about that for a second, okay? Because, I mean, $13,000, that's a pretty hefty investment, right? It, it seems like it would be cheaper to go with a generator and some gasoline than $13,000, right? Before we look at the price comparison, let me just say that the batteries that we have, they are battle-borne batteries. They are rated for 3,000 to 5,000 cycles. The batteries are the most expensive part of the whole system. 3,000 to 5,000 cycles. That's like 10 years if you cycle them pretty much every day. We don't do that. These batteries are going to last at least 10 years. So we're going to we're going to build this out for 10 years, okay? So let's think about this for a second. Our solar system provides us with power 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If we wanted to try to do that with a gas generator, let's see which is going to cost more, all right? So here we have a Honda 2200 watt generator, fairly equivalent to the inverter that we have on our system. It's going to cost you about $1,100 for this generator. Okay, that's pretty cheap, right? I mean, you could get cheaper generators. They're not going to last as long. We're going with Honda. They have a good reputation, right? And they make good equipment. So let's take a look at the cost here for one year's operation. There's 24 hours in a day, 365 days in a year. That's 8,760 hours that you're going to need to run your generator to produce power 24 hours a day, just like our solar system does, okay? Your typical gas power generator is rated to last between two and 3,000 hours, according to some experts. But this is a Honda. We're going to take good care of it. So let's say we get 4,000 hours out of our generator before it needs to be replaced. We're going to need two generators per year, right? So that's about 2,200 bucks per year just for the generator. Now that Honda generator is really fuel efficient. You're going to get about eight hours per gallon if you don't like use it at its max, right? So eight hours per gallon how many gallons of gas are we going to need? Well, 8,760 hours divided by eight hours is 1,095 gallons of gasoline per year we're going to need. National gas average is just over $2 a gallon right now. So we'll just take $2. That's $2,190 in gasoline per year. Okay, so we're just over $4,000 right now. But you're going to need to change the oil Every 100 hours, it takes 14 ounces of oil in that Honda. So that's going to come out to right around 38 quarts of oil per year, around $138. Then there's spark plugs. We've got to change those. If we go by the manufacturer's suggestion, every 200 hours, we're going to need 44 spark plugs. That's right around $132. So just in cost alone right now, per year, we're up to $4,660 per year to operate this generator like we operate our off-grid solar system. 
Now, don't get me wrong. We do have a backup generator as well, which we've run over the last year and a half building our cabin for about 800 hours. That also includes, right, not just running our cabin, which we've done some and charging our batteries when the weather's bad, but that also includes running all of the big power equipment to actually do the build, which this generator would not be able to do and our inverter is not able to do. So if you use this generator and you wanted to run bigger equipment, well, you'd have to have a second generator anywhere. Let's just say $20,000, right? Generator gas, oil changes for the backup generator plus the initial investment, $20,000. Here, we're still at $46,000. So clearly, cost-wise, an off-grid solar system like ours in the long run is way cheaper than trying to do the same thing with a gas power generator. But let's not forget, you've also got what I call the hassle factor. You've got to put gasoline in that generator every eight hours unless you invest in a larger auxiliary tank, which still, that's another expense, and you've got to fill up that auxiliary tank Mm, yeah, you got to put gas in the generator frequently. But let's check out the maintenance schedule here. This maintenance schedule from the owner's manual for that Honda generator says that you need to change the oil every 100 hours. That's like every four to five days you're going to change that oil. That's a hassle. What else does it say? With that oil change, you're also going to need to check the spark plug. And then every 200 hours, which is like every week or so, you're gonna have to change the spark plug. That's a hassle. Not that big of a hassle, but it's a hassle to me. This is where we start getting into the real hassle. You've got to check and adjust the valve clearances on that thing every 200 hours. That's like once a week. That means you're gonna be taking apart the plastic on there getting down to the valve cover, taking the valve cover off, and checking the valve clearances every week. But then every 300 hours, right, you've got to actually take the head off and clean the combustion chamber. Oh man, that is a lot of work and a lot of maintenance to run a gas-powered generator and try to save money versus investing up front in an off-grid solar system. Let's take a quick break and check out the turkeys. Bam, buddy. Turkeys. Hello, turkeys. Get them, ducks, get them. Turkeys can fly really well, guys. Oh, and check it out, man. Oh, winter wonderland here in North Idaho. Oh, there he goes again. So what kind of maintenance is there needed for our off-grid solar system? Well, as far as the solar system goes, because of the batteries that we have, there's really not much maintenance at all. You may have to clean off the solar panels once in a while, or if they get covered with snow and you don't have them tilted enough, the snow doesn't slide off. You may have to clean the snow off occasionally. Uh, you might want to, you know, you check the voltage on your batteries. And if they get too low, then you may have to start up your auxiliary or your backup generator so there's a little bit that goes along with it but nothing like the gas generator now since you have a backup generator well you're gonna have some maintenance on that but remember we only ran our generator for 800 hours over a year and a half that includes the construction of the cabin and the garage and so the amount of maintenance on the generator is way 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 less than it would be if you were running it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So all in all, I would say the maintenance on the off-grid solar system with the backup generator is probably one-tenth or less of that than it is with just running the gas generator. Guys, those are my thoughts on the gas generator versus an off-grid solar system. I would really like to know your thoughts as well. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you'd like to see what else is going on here on our homestead, there's a video right over there you can go ahead and check out. Otherwise, I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I will see you over in that video in just a second. <music>